Hi guys, this is Jen. Today I have something different for you. I have a pen review for you guys. And I am doing these Bic marking. You've probably seen them in stores on sale lately. Marking. They are felt tip ultra fine point permanent marker. And I had them um, because they were on sale at Target for like $4 for a pack of like 16 So I decided to go ahead and buy them. Uh, great deal. I was, just, I was so excited to buy these because they have so many different colors. So many different colors. Like a lot of pretty colors that you can choose from. So what I'm going to do today basically is I'm going to write in a normal composition notebook. No moleskins, no traveler's notebooks, no Midori's, no fancy paper, nothing, nothing, none of that. Just lined composition notebook. I'm going to write, I'm going to show you how it bleeds through or doesn't bleed through. I'm going to show you if it uh, expands or blooms when you write with them and things like that. So let's get started. Okay, so these big markings comes in a set of a lot of colors. <laughs> a lot of colors. I think it's 16. I or no, it's 12. It's 12 colors. Here they all are right here. And I'm going to show you one by one what color they are and uh, if they bleed through or not. So let's just start with this one. This is Sunset Orange. And I'm just going to show you really just how it bleeds through or not. So they're fine tip, so they look nice when you write with them. Um, this one doesn't really bleed or bloom, if you want to call it that, when you write with it. It doesn't uh, start to bleed into the page and expand when you write with it. It's usually the lighter colors. That's Sunset Orange. And in a regular ass composition notebook, they will bleed through. They will bleed through a bit. You want to see that right there. They bleed through quite a bit. You can see it. It's not avoidable at all. It will show through. So that's Sunset Orange. Let's try Yellow Blaze. Yellow Blaze. I don't think you can see this one that well. Like in person, you can see it pretty okay. And you can kind of see it. It's like almost a highlighter color. It still shows through though. All right. Um, one of my favorite colors is Polynesian Purple. Now this one definitely starts to bloom when you write with it, especially if you press down, it will bloom. Now what I mean by that is like, imagine you putting watercolor on part of the paper where you put water and it expands. Some pens do that and this pen will do that. It looks very pretty, but again, it bleeds through. You can tell right there, bleeds through like nobody's business. Uh, I don't like that at all. I do not like that at all. You can tell right there it bleeds through. Even the yellow you can see right there bleeds through. All of them bleed through. All of them bleed through. This one is Blue Skies Blue, I think. Blue Skies Blue, yep. Blue skies blue. 
they're very pretty though that's why i'm so sad about this it's, they're very pretty colors but they are not that great now that's in just a regular composition notebook you're thinking well what about like sketch paper try it on sketch paper see if that bleeds through okay let's do it on sketch paper let's see if it bleeds through on this this is i do not know i covered the cover so i don't know what kind of paper it is but it's the strathmore i think the michaels brand it's just a sketchbook that i use so let's try Polynesian purple and these are felt tip just like a stapler so it won't ever skip or run out of ink randomly and it still kind of bleeds through just a tiny bit not really though let's oh sorry bumped you Let's see if I color like this. Let's see, I was coloring in something. Let's see. Nope. Nothing at all. So sketchbook paper is okay. This is a uh, rough on one side, smooth on the other type deal. Um, so that's cool. The other colors, there's black, there's red. Rambunctious red. Nothing, nothing through. That's awesome. All right, let's say you want to use this in the planner. Basic Michael's planner with the stickers and the rings and the dividers and the to-do lists and they do bleed through because I use the heart here. I use the rambunctious red right there and it bleeds through pretty bad if you can see it right there. So I don't use them really in anything because they bleed through so bad. They bleed through really bad. Um, like right here, it says February. You can see it through the other side. Oh, that was a stamp, though. That was ink. Yeah, even right here, you can see there's a little red spot. That's the heart that I put on the calendar for Valentine's Day. So, yeah, in a planner, in the Michaels planner, it will bleed through. In a sketchbook, it will not bleed through. And in a regular composition notebook, or in a regular lined notebook, it will bleed through. Definitely. Um, I don't have a Midori, I don't have a Moleskin, I don't have anything like that. So I can't show you how it works in there. But... It probably won't bleed through if the if the paper is a heavy enough, rough enough, so soaking up type of paper. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the big marking. Be careful what you use it for. Uh, make sure if you want to write with them that it's on thick paper. If you want to color it in, that's amazing. They are great for coloring in. Um, these would be good for coloring books, but. Um, coloring books usually have thin paper, so I would be careful with that. And we are done. So let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments below. If you guys need more pen reviews, I will be able to do that for you. I have another set of pens to do. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.